Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the KF Podcast YouTube edition. The Great Debate. Yes. Royal Rumble situation. I want to say thank you for listening. If you just stumbled across us on the interweb, check us out at kfpodcast.com and the KF Podcast and all your other social media needs. So, Brock, yes. we have a new format style we're going to try. Yeah. This is your brainchild. We, well, we always like to argue with each other about everything no. we can. So I thought, why not try and organize it, give, us, <laughs> give ourselves time limits, and so we can't talk over each other or yell over each other, whatever. Where's the fun in that? Well, we'll see how it goes, because I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure it won't, it won't follow the format. <laughs> but we have uh, moderating for us today, Justin, and our topic of discussion is, Hello. The, uh, hello. is the best Royal Rumble, Royal, Royal Rumble performer of all time. There's a Royal Rumble... But what happened this past weekend? Yes, because oh, this is pre-taped. It's pre-taped. <laughs> We're doing a pre-tape. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the rules before we get into the the great debate? Well, each person will have three minutes to defend their choice. Okay. And he, after that three minutes, the other two get a chance of rebuttal to basically say that their choice was stupid or whatever, or agree if they're talking to me. Okay. <laughs> And Justin's going to keep time for us, and it should be fun. And Justin, you'll be saying like one minute, two minute, letting us know what, if it's cut. I, I think it's just yeah. So you like how time. angry you just got. <laughs> as as part of as part of the time, we're gonna for the three minute countdown. It's the we'll we'll start. Countdown. I'll give you a one minute warning, okay. and I will give you a ten second warning, and that's it. No how, two minute warning. How long can we run over? Can I get a two minute warning? Can we just finish You cannot five? get a two-minute warning. Oh, you prick. How about a three-minute warning? Oh, <laughs> that would be the start of the thing. But no, I agree with Brock. Yes. Is there a way that we can get a, uh, like, a finish our thought situation? So if we're in the middle of a sentence, we can just finish that and then be done. Or if that screws um, you up, then no. Not three minutes. I will, I, I will <laughs> offer no more than 30 seconds to finish a thought. Okay, that's okay. a long time. All yeah. right. Okay, that sounds fair. Right. Yes. Okay, sounds good. All right. And the rebuttals are only 30 seconds apiece. Yes. Okay. Correct. All right. I think that's plenty of time. Three buttholes. So am I allowed to cheat and have my own stopwatch here so I can see how much time I have? No. All right. Well, you can't if you want. I guess that wouldn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it's not against the rules. I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't want to see it. I want Justin to tell me. Like Chef Ramsay. <laughs> A minute remaining! <laughs> Um, right, his so first. to choose to choose the order of your of of how you guys are gonna go, I'm on random.org <laughs> on their random list generator. Ooh. And so you don't think I'm cheating? I'm actually gonna do a screen capture and I will send you the file Ooh. so you can see me doing this. Send it over what? <laughs> We believe you. I'll, Justin. I'll I'll throw it on the, I'll throw it onto the drive. We just, believe no, you. Just tell us. We it's believe you, Justin. Just tell us. We believe you. Tell us. I do. All right. Who's Unless I got screwed. Who's going first? Here we go. Right. This is the. This is it. Rock. Don. Okay. Thought he would have had this ready to go. It's alphabetical. Uh, <laughs> right. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. The order. Brock, you are number one. Of course. Ken. You're number two. Don, you're number three. Of course. All right. Should we say who we're defending first so we can mention our other, our opponent's person? Because so we know yeah. it. We know everybody. Ross, you're doing who? I'm representing the game Triple H. Ken? I'm representing the heartbreak kid, Mr. WrestleMania, the greatest Royal Rumble entrant of all time, Shawn Michaels. And I am representing Mr. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Easy. Okay. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the order will main will be maintained for the rebuttals as well. So Don, when you're number three going, Brock, you will rebut first, and okay. Ken, you will go last. That's confusing. Three butt. All just, right, let's just get tell it on. us when it's our turn. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Brock, you are up first okay. with Triple H, and go. 
So Triple H has competed in nine Royal Rumble matches. Okay. In those nine Royal Rumble matches, he has eliminated 32 wrestlers. He has spent a total of four hours and 57 seconds in the ring. He has also won two Royal Rumble matches. Okay. Once in 2002. And again, all the way in 2016, which happened to be for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Only the second person to ever win the heavyweight championship in the Royal Rumble match. Okay. When Triple H was not in the Royal Rumble match itself, he was defending the World Heavyweight and WWE Championships on five separate occasions, four of which he had a successful title defense. Okay. He missed the 2007 Royal Rumble due to injury, but we'll give him a pass on that. Another interesting stat about Mr. Hunter Hearst Helmsley in the Royal Rumble is he has been the runner-up twice, both in 2008 and 2009. So he made it all the way to the end. Also, on four separate occasions when eliminated, he was eliminated by the eventual winner, not just some jabroni. Oh, jabroni. Yes. The most eliminations that Triple H ever had in a Royal Rumble match was six, which he did three times. In 2006, 2008, and 2009. Needless to say, Triple H is a very successful Royal Rumble competitor. Not only did he win his Royal Rumble match in 2002, he went on to successfully capture the undisputed championship from Chris Jericho at that year's WrestleMania. And like I mentioned earlier, he also won the heavyweight title in the Royal Rumble match. Who's who list of people who eliminated him? In 1996, One minute, Brock. In 1996, he was eliminated by Hall of Famer Diesel. In 1997, he was eliminated by Goldust. But let's not forget that's the year he was being punished for being a part of the curtain call. He was eliminated by Steve Austin in 1999. He won in 2002. Eliminated by winner Rey Mysterio in 2006. John Cena in 2008. And Randy Orton in 2009. And Shawn Michaels in 2010. Another Hall of Famer. But it's easy to see that Triple H is the greatest Royal Rumble performer of all time. Okay. You, you all done? You got way more information. I'm than done. I did. <laughs> My rebuttal is you're right. <laughs> Your stats are great. Uh, so who goes first in the rebuttal here? Uh, Ken, you get your opportunity to rebut Triple H. I would like to rebut Triple H for some basic stats of his. And when he won the, the his Royal Rumble appearances, he only eliminated four people per elimination. So in total of his winning percentage in Royal Rumbles, he eliminated a total of eight people, which is not a lot. And whenever he won the one in 2002, he or 2016, he came in as the last entrant, which is the easiest by far. And his two wins, he's only spent 32 minutes in the Rumble, 32-17, so that's really not a whole lot to, to put in to win two Rumbles. It's a very short amount of time. Uh, he should have been able to win more with those accolades. So I don't think that he qualifies himself as the greatest of all time. Ken, you're done. Okay. Wow, that was good, too. <laughs> so is it my turn? I spent more time looking up shit on your guys than <laughs> Is it my turn? And Bro- or Don? Hold on, let me restart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have anything. <laughs> Go ahead. Um... So even who's the other person who won the championship other than him at Ric Flair? Ric Flair. I feel like the Triple H championship one was cheap. That was they wanted to have Roman win it at Mania, and that was kind of like yeah, he came in like last on that one, which was a cool event and everything. But I really don't think he had any like I can't remember him having any like moments that I thought wow, and he stunned me at a Rumble. Other than like you know he had he had some good accolades which you mentioned on there, but. It just, I don't know. I never really thought Triple H was stunning at the Rumble. Where, Don, other, where other people you're done. were better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this right. is this guy's time. And Ken's up talking about Shawn Michaels, another yes. strong contender. And what are you typing in? Are you ready to go? He's writing on his thoughts. 
Yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna, the, he yeah, gets a vote. He gets okay. a vote. Yeah, he's got to decide. All right. So he's he's coming up with his thoughts. All it just looks like his fingers bouncing around. Can't really tell what's going he's on. He's resetting his timer. Sorry. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, Ken, go ahead. So my defense for Shawn Michael being the greatest uh, Royal Rumble combined. Uh, let's hope that my <laughs> English does not dissuade my opinion. So why is the greatest of all time in the Royal Rumble? Is I'm just going to give you the stats. He is up there by winning two Royal Rumble, his two Royal Rumble appearances. Uh, he has tied for, let's see here. He has in the top three, oh no, he's number two in all time for most career Royal Rumble eliminations with 40, only behind Kane with 42. He is in most time spent in the Royal Rumble. He has three hours and 41 minutes in the Royal Rumble match. And opposed, and that's number three behind Chris Jericho, number one, and Triple H at number two. Um, he is got one of the longest times in a Royal Rumble where he was in for, when he won the Royal Rumble in 1995, he was in it for 38 minutes and 41 seconds. And he was only one of four people that's ever won the Royal Rumble from the number one or number two spot starting the, the, uh, the actual Royal Rumble itself. So whenever he won the Royal Rumble in 1995, he came into the number one position. He spent 38 minutes and 41 seconds in the ring. That is more than Triple H combined with his two Royal Rumble appearances for wins. He eliminated eight people, which is more than Triple H combined for his Royal Rumble now appearances. He's attacking Triple H. <laughs> now in 1996, he came in at 18. And he was in the Royal Rumble for 26 minutes, also eliminating eight people. So in combined in his two wins at the Royal Rumble, he was in the in there for over an hour and four minutes, eliminating 16 people, which is far more than most competitors at the time. So Shawn Michaels also had historic runs where his storyline was where he wanted to win the Royal Rumble to defeat The Undertaker in a great good versus evil match. Uh, he's had more WrestleMania moments. Uh, I think that he's also uh, he was on Baywatch. He was on Baywatch, which also should give him something. <laughs> he also is a large Ark fan. He plays a lot of home video games. You cannot try to influence the moderator. One minute. <laughs> I'm actually done. I didn't have that much prepared to actually get into three minutes. I can't time speeches. <laughs> okay. No worries. All right. Um, so in this. <laughs> It'd be Brock and then Don. It's me first. Yep. Okay. Brock, you get to go. Give me a second here. Brock's gonna be better at me at this too. Okay, <laughs> Brock, you have thirty seconds. Go. In two thousand six, Triple H lasted one hour and sixteen seconds in the Royal Rumble match. Even though Shawn Michaels won back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles, he lost his first Royal Rumble uh, championship opportunity against Diesel. Ooh, he did go on to defeat Bret Hart. But after that, what did he do? He lost his smile and disappeared for four years looking for it. While Triple H went on to win 14 world championships. So, game, would, set, match. I would like to I'll say, give you WrestleMania, you know, but not the Royal Rumble. Listen, this is about the Royal Rumble, not if he lost his smile and about WrestleMania. You are swaying about different things. Fake news. Fake news. Emails. Triple H's emails. He, he, Ken broke the goddamn rules already. Uh, hey, I thought this was about the Royal Rumble. That's what my stats were about. I apologize. I just wanted to point out that after he won two Royal Rumbles, he just disappeared. <laughs> Not listening. I didn't get my full time in my defense. <laughs> you got 30 seconds. You did? Not Thank you, Mark. Right. You're doing a great job, Justin, as moderator. I'm still trying to find out how many times Stone Cold was even in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Good thing you went <laughs> last. <laughs> I can't right. find that number. <coughs> Brock, Don, find out for me. Ready to dispute Shawn Michaels? Uh, okay, oh, that's gonna be yep. hard. Um, yep, Thirty seconds. Go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I really have a hard time disputing Shawn Michaels because I wanted to almost pick Shawn Michaels because <laughs> uh, he is a great performer. Um, again. I just don't... There's one thing that I'm going to get into that's very why I think it's Stone Cold that I can't... I have to save for mine. That's going to be my main reason why I believe Stone Cold. Michael's stats are great, as are Triple H's. I just don't think they're as impressive as what Stone Cold did and have the magnitude of the impact. 
and I'll explain that in my in my presentation. But he's great. Okay. He's great. So basically, you just give us a pre-log. I, I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing for you on that one. How am I going to rebut those stats? He has great stats. He's Mr. WrestleMania. He's a Rumble. Triple H too. They're both great. This is a tough one because he's on. It's not like you picked. Roman Reigns, or, or Brock picked uh, Kofi Kingston just because he walked on his hands and all that. We picked like three of the top guys ever in wrestling. It's hard. To, it's hard. But I'm going to make my appearance. Why? And you're not going to agree with it, but this is why I think. Okay. I think the game should be who can sway Bra or Dawn into the, <laughs> into the other one. <laughs> no, I'm with my guy. Am I ready? I don't know. Are all you right. ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. For your three minutes. I'm ready. On Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm ready. <laughs> you have three minutes. Go. Okay. So Stone Cold, the biggest one that sticks out is he's the only person with three Royal Rumble wins. All right? Two of those, he went on to cash in the title at WrestleMania. One, he didn't. He has 36 eliminations, five Final Four appearances, and all these numbers are good. I mean, he had two back-to-back. -back. Michaels had two back-to-back. But my thing with Stone Cold that I think why he's the greatest when his music would hit at a Rumble is, one of the things exciting about the Rumble is when the big guy comes down and clears the ring. Big Show would come down, you know, and it's like this scary person that everybody in the ring was afraid of. Scary thing I feel like know. Austin was the only, one of the only people. he was, And I know this is writing the way they did their character, but when he came down, he would be a ring clearer. And I know some people didn't like that, but how many? I used to think that that was like one of the coolest things at a Rumble, that when his music would hit... All ten guys are there in a the ring. He'd beat up all ten guys. Throw them all out. And he'd lay in the ring. He'd check his watch. He'd wait for the next guy to come down. He had the big man mentality, even though he he is a big guy compared to some of the smaller guys. But he had that he had that presence, like Taker, Kane, show, without having that size, that when his music would hit, the place would lose their freaking mind. And it was like such a cool moment in the Rumble when he would clear the ring, empty it out from everybody. And, and it was like... You know, you you knew you knew when he was coming down that like it was about to get real. And he and he was in the rumble. All his uh, matches, he stayed in there for a long period of time. I don't have the exact stats, but I can't remember any of him getting knocked out right away. He, I mean, he was in the final four five times. You know, he won the thing three times. That's pretty impressive that you would put that much on your on your on your a guy in your company. He was the man. And like I said, him winning, the celebrations afterwards were so much, so epic. He just, to me, Stone Cold was the best thing about the Royal Rumble when he would win. That's when, to me, when it was really, really good. It didn't make me upset that he won it even back-to-back -back years where I didn't like that Michaels won it back-to-back -back years. I thought it, like, wasn't as good. I felt like, you know, he, uh, he did it better. So... I don't really need the full three minutes either. But Stone Cold's the man. I feel he's the you know he's the greatest, and his Rumble appearances just set the bar high. Okay. Okay. So, in that, um, Brock, you will get the first opportunity. Okay. Here comes Stats, Stats McGee. Okay, your 30 seconds starts now. There's really only one stat I need to focus on with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that was the fact that he was eliminated by Vince McMahon in the Royal Rumble, ultimately losing that Royal Rumble in his final four appearance, which Triple H had um, one, two, three, four, five final five appearances, mm -hmm. spanning over... 20 years it wasn't just an isolated incident that he did well so it's just it's very obvious that triple h is the the winner of this debate because of his longevity these two guys they ah uh. you're done <laughs> all right ken's up all right ken your 30 seconds starts now all right, so I'm going to stick with Royal Rumble appearances, not gibberish that Brock would like to pull off. <laughs> Stone Cold was only in it for his three wins for an hour and ten minutes and only eliminated 20 people. Yeah. Triple H, 32 minutes, only eliminated eight people in two Royal Rumbles. Shawn Michaels, an hour and four minutes, 16 people. Quality over nonsense. He's not banging the, the, the owner's wife or sister, daughter, <laughs> whatever, and he's not handed to everything to him like Stone Cold. Shawn Michaels is the greatest Royal Rumble entrant Combatant, winner of Good all job. time. All right. Good job. All right. Good job. 
I, I, I'm impressed with the with the debate skills here. Uh-huh. Um, Not the speaking so, skills. <laughs> speaking is a different term. Um, so <clears throat> I took some notes in, in listening to the three of you. Um, Brock definitely, I think, had uh, the top as far as stats go. Um, you know, knowing the the having the background of of all three of the, the wrestlers, um, and and really presented a lot of facts. Uh, Ken, you did well. You did well in that area. Also, um, the uh, Don, the I I do kind of agree on yours with Stone Cold and the because this was the performer, so you don't have to look at only stats. And Don brought up the fact about how you know. Stone Cold was, uh, you know, the big impact guy and, and the big crowd pleaser guy. Um, from a rebuttal perspective, uh, Don, you were lacking a bit. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you kind of agreed with your first two people instead of <laughs> instead of disputing them. Um, but uh, uh, Ken, I actually, house, I'm man. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Ken on the rebuttals. I'm gonna give Ken the edge. Um, because I thought Ken's rebuttals were, oh, yeah. uh, were, were the best for, for thinking on his feet, quick, um, quick responses. Um, and overall, I think I am going to give this to Shawn Michaels and Ken. Yeah. That's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a belt for this? Uh, you don't get a belt. <laughs> no. You get this empty bottle. Of I'll right. take it. I'll take it. Internet people, see if you agree. If you want to vote down below for who you think and who you think was better, uh, or maybe you had a different guy. Any honorable mentions anybody had here? Um, who were you originally going to pick when we? I picked? was going to pick Shawn Michaels at first. So you were going for him at first too. Mm-hmm. You kind of had a thing for him. I almost picked him too. Just because the the start to finish, he was the first one to do that. Yeah, a I, bunch of people have done it since. But I think Jericho has had great Rumble appearances. He's never won though. He's never won, but he had good. He was Randy Orton could have been on the list. I was gonna go Kane because it's so easy because he's he eliminated. Never won. Yeah, and that's why he's I was never like, won. Yeah, Roman Reigns has wasn't in enough of them to. But he's won two. Already. He's won. He's, he only won one. He only oh, won really? one. Yeah. Yeah. But he had the most eliminations in one. Yeah. No, well, Braun Strowman now with. Well, that doesn't count. There were 50 people in that match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that Rumble doesn't count. Um, so, so going into this, when you guys, when when Brock came up with the idea and you guys asked me to moderate it, again, I have, I think I've watched one Royal Rumble at your house, Don. So I don't have history in this event. event. Um, but I just, I went out and did a search for the best Royal Rumble performers of all time. And the list I found, the top five, had John Cena in the number five position, yeah. Undertaker in the number four position. How many did Undertaker? Kane in? in number three, mm-hmm. Stone Cold at number two, and Shawn Michaels at number one. Huh. So, and that makes sense because all three of you wanted to pick Shawn Michaels. <laughs> yeah. So Triple H should be on that list. He should. It kind of makes the- sense. I think Triple H should be on there before Cena. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone, that Royal Rumble in New York, where Cena came back from an injury like six months early. That was and a good it, one. Yeah, and like, that's like, they still show that moment over that and over. What about yeah, 2002 when Triple H came back from an injury? Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I think Rey Mysterio's done well in Rumbles. Ziggler's done well in Rumbles. Mm-hmm. Ziggler's never won one, but he's always Mysterio been... won one, so he could have been on the list. And yeah. he started, in, he was number two. Yeah. He had yeah. a great... That was a great run. Him and Triple H started it, then went all the way to the end. Oh, really? In that mm-hmm. year. But then uh, Big Show was there, too. It was the final two. Was... Big Show's the worst in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> the, big, the big guys always are. The they're not going to win. Kane is a good big guy for that. He's done well with those. Big Show, yeah. I thought it was kind of stupid. But there you go. Batista's won two Royal Rumbles. Yeah. Yeah, but that one in Pittsburgh, where he got booed <laughs> out of the place. We'll have to wait 15 years, and then we can do a women's. Yeah. No, I was, was going to do Oscar as one of the yeah. my choice. And then we can do the women's after that. She's undefeated in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's Nakamura. Yeah. Uh, he only was there once. <laughs> All right. 
Ken, take us out. All right, everyone, please like, share, subscribe, invite, tell your friends, comment on what, who you think is going to win. Are we doing this on Facebook? Are we doing a, a, still doing a poll? Uh, we can. Yeah, we'll do one. Yeah. All right, well, vote and tell us who you think should be the number one. or well, What do you think we should do next? Yeah, what we should do next. Actually, isn't that? Justin picks it. Justin gets yeah, to pick it. Yeah, Justin gets to pick it. Yeah. So, all right, have a good night. <laughs>